Today we've got a highly demanded iron comparison, the Titleist T100S TaylorMade P770, two players or players distance irons, somewhere in there. Um, a fun comparison today, Thomas has some shots, we'll use TrackMan to compare them. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like it on YouTube, leave a comment, and then subscribe to our channel. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. And we have been reading your YouTube comments. Um, we've got a iron comparison uh, between the Titleist T100S and the TaylorMade P770 here. Um, very highly demanded by uh, a lot of you watching this channel. And after we did, you know, P790 versus T200, uh, a lot of people asking for this one because both of these irons are kind of player's irons or player's distance irons are kind of both in between there. So. Um, this is a, a one that a lot of golfers watching this will be intrigued by, I think. Yeah, I think they fit right in the, in the middle, like yeah. as, you, as you mentioned. You have like your, your Titleist T200, which is a true player's distance iron. Yep. And you've got the TaylorMade P790, which is also a true player's distance iron. Yeah. And then you've got your, your pure carry backs with the mm -hmm. T100s and your P7 MCs. Yep. But then you've got these, these other ones that kind of fit right in the middle. And, I'm going to be intrigued today to see whether speed foam or muscle channel yeah, yeah. or technology or loft is going to win out because I'm very curious because I have seen the TaylorMade P770 go some kind of ridiculous distances for a club that has 33 degrees of loft on mm -hmm. it for a 7 iron. And then we have the uh, T100S which we know is 32 degrees of loft so it's a little bit stronger. Generally speaking, the less loft is going to cause the ball to go further, but I think this will be a lot closer than we think. I think so too, because in our experience with speed foam, you know, this is back from the kind of almost the original P790. Um, that technology with like, it, it, it's explosive. I mean, it's a that hollow body design and then the speed foam inside of it just delivers a ton of pop. And the P770 is essentially the P790, just a smaller version of it. Um, they're built essentially the same. So um, that's that's what's really intriguing about this is that's why I almost think going in, this is, the, I'm gonna take the P770. If I had to vote which one would go further based on your testing, I'd, I'd say P770 despite what you said about loss. So that's, despite I guess loss. that's my hypothesis here, but I'm intrigued by it because again, this is one that a lot of people are curious about to see how they compare. They both are kind of in that tweener space. So um, it'll be a good time, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Yeah, and these clubs are for those golfers that they do care about distance. Mm -hmm. they, they, they'd want to keep up their bodies. They want to, it's going to be a low, lower spitting iron. So those golfers that maybe they spin the ball a little too much mm -hmm. and just need that little more forgiveness. But they like the player's shape out of, of irons and still want a little more workability. So these are great irons. I think they fit that gap well. The gap between, I guess, player's distance and, and cavity yeah. back. But there's room. There's definitely room for them. Yep. Uh, it'll be an interesting test. Yeah, I mean, that's what the manufacturers do. They're trying to cover every golfer out there, and there's some that do fit directly in between. So, um, so now for the test today, how many shots, what uh, golf shaft are you using for each, and um, how are we going to kind of, uh, you know, analyze this data here? Yeah, we'll hit several shots with each. Uh, so Project X LZ 6.5, 125 grams. So if you've watched our channel in the past, you know that's the golf shaft that I play in mm -hmm. my irons. Um, we will also test with the Pro V1 X golf ball. Okay. Um, so same golf ball for football for them. I think it's going to be an interesting test. I don't know what's going to happen, so <laughs> it's, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I mean, there's certainly a difference in size, and we'll talk about that as well and feel. But um, yeah, this is going to be a really good one. Um, I'm ready to hit, uh, watch you hit some shots. Thomas, what are we starting with here? Yeah, we got the T100S. Okay. And as I'm looking down at it, I'm always surprised with how, knowing that the loft's a little stronger, just how small this club head looks yeah. like. I think size-wise, certainly not a player's distance iron. Um, that is a lot slimmer. It's in that, that uh, you know, player's kind of cavity category right. in terms of the size of it. It's just that it's lofted stronger to kind of, you know, fall a little bit closer to that player's distance category. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's very similar design to the T100. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more or less the same. There's just right. that little bit of so, so extra yeah, power, that muscle channel that you really can't even see unless you look closer at it in the cavity there. Yeah. All right.
Add a little more speed to it. Ooh. All right. This is going to be interesting because you're spinning this thing low 5,000s. Right. You're, uh, the T100S is setting a good mark, I think, right now. That was a better swing. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that ball. Well, okay, T100S. We've done testing on this club before, um, but this is kind of, I think this might be the first time we've actually put it up against a, you know, like another manufacturer, uh, at least the new version of the T100S. So um, what are your thoughts on it? How does it feel? I mean, does it feel like a, you know, like the Forge player's iron? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep, feels, feels incredibly soft, very good. Looks great at address. It's, uh, it's a good looking, very, very clean club. As I mentioned, it's smaller than I'm expecting. Mm -hmm. It's for those golfers that like a smaller club head, but want a little bit of forgiveness and a little more distance. It's it's a good golf club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean that last shot, as I mentioned, I mean, right on top of that center line there. Um, so just to get the numbers, we got 91.2 club speed. We're at uh, 5363 spin, 185.3 carry, 192.7 total um, is what we're looking at right now. So. Set the bar pretty high. Those are the bar. Uh, yeah, that, that's the bar as of right now for the P770. Um, I think we can move over to that one here. Let's do it. It's definitely louder. Definitely louder. Definitely larger. <laughs> definitely looks like it's, I mean, I know it's only one degree aloft, but it, with it being a little larger club head and having a little more loft on it, I can definitely notice the loft. Mm -hmm. yep. That was a good swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that shot right there is, is a good one to kind of just even just talk about right, right there. I know it's not the averages yet, but my club speed was 91.1. I think I was like 91.2 on average with the mm -hmm. T100S. But look at that ball speed, 130.9, 144 smash. I think I was on average 1.40 with the... I don't think 144 will be touched by the T100S. I, yeah, that's, I think that's about as good as I can hit in. You know, similar kind of spin numbers, uh, but yeah, carry distance was about three yards further on that yeah. shot. I'm curious on ball speed too. I mean, obviously the end smash factor, but I mean, I, I again, the the speed foam technology, those, those P770 and P790 irons are so much explosiveness. Yeah, obviously. and that one just, just felt explosive, and it had slightly less club speed than what the average speed of the T100S mm -hmm. was. All right, so four shots with each one. Mm -hmm. Bring up the data. Let's see what we're looking at here. Look at those dispersion patterns. It's actually pretty similar. Pretty similar. Yep. Um, the distance was one thing we wanted to touch on. Um, so you swung a tad faster with P770. I mean, we're only, you know, we're going to try and even it out here a little yep. bit with oh, had four more, more swings. But ball speed is higher, smash factor comfortably higher. And moving over to, you know, your spin is pretty comparable. And then it's just a little bit more distance carry wise because of just that extra ball speed. Right. Just, yeah, it was the speed foam, hollow mm -hmm. body, just mm -hmm. giving a little bit more ball speed so far, at least. So far. Yeah. Now, now, so you're going to hit four right away again with P770? Yeah. Let's yeah. Uh, continue on with P770 and then finish up with T100S. Okay. So now we'll be eight shots total and we'll really break this down here. Oh boy. Oh my word. Yeah. Thanks. 132, that's the new ball speed high of the day. I say that one felt like I didn't quite catch it as well. A little lower on the face. Well, and spin so rate spin rate went up a little bit on that one. Funny though, the uh, ball speed didn't 
I mean, it dropped a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Right. But it's still a one for one smash. I mean, yeah, that's impressive. If you actually did, you know, hit that one a little bit low on the face. That was a little lower on the face. Yep. So there's our circle. I mean, it, first of all, P, the P770 feel, I would have, just by the sound of it, it's a little bit louder. I would imagine it's not quite the same feel as the T100S. Yeah, it's significantly louder. It, uh, it feels a little bit firmer off the face yeah. for sure. Maybe a, a little more kind of jumpy to give it a little more distance. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's a larger profile for sure. If I'm gonna look down at the two of them, I can definitely notice Heel to toe, top line is significantly smaller with the T100S versus yeah. the P770. Yeah, just a lot more of a shot maker's shape, I guess, with the T100S. Yep. So, um, all right, four more with T100S. We'll solidify the numbers up here and all right. see what we can conclude. Oh, got some bull speed there. Well, there we go. T100S not going away. One, four, three. It's pretty good. Just a touch left. Yeah. Wow. That. Might be the highest ball speed of the day. That was pretty good. The spin close. was a little higher, though. That's close. So I'm going to bring up <laughs> our information here. That is, wow. <laughs> those, are, those are like perfectly matching dispersion circles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually amazing. I mean, <laughs> you try this again with eight shots of each, you can't get them that similar. There's no way. <laughs> I mean, if you try it 100 more times, they're not going to be that similar. Right, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, there's, there's one over there to the left, the P770, but otherwise, there's seven yellow dots that mm -hmm. are all pretty close to, to, together. Okay, so we can look at these numbers here. Um, a ton of similarities across the board here. I mean, goodness gracious. We're at three tenths of a mile an hour off on club speed, so, you know, a pretty similar, you know, even test there. The ball speed is separated by two tenths of a mile an hour. Uh, smash factor one four two to one four one. Launch angle very similar. Spin is eighteen RPM of a difference. Carry distance two tenths of a yard. Total six tenths of a yard. I mean, these clubs are testing out very very similarly for you. Um, right. What are the takeaways here now then? Because I, one thing I see is that, you know, despite the loft difference where the P770 is, you know, one degree weaker, it's still keeping up, you know, just as if it was the same loft as T100S. I mean, it's that, that technology in there is creating more distance than, you know, maybe other irons in its class, I guess. Yeah, it's ex exactly that. And I always say every degree aloft is about three yards. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't get the three yard separation. We got 0.2 yeah. um, yards per separation. Um, and it's, it's interesting. So T100S has got 32 degrees aloft on it. P770 has got 33. So I always like to look at launch angle and dynamic loft to see, you know, if, it's, mm -hmm. if this is a, a fair test. Well, first off, you can see the T100S launched lower than the P770 because it has less loft on it. Mm -hmm. If we look at the dynamic loft, you can see 22.3 versus 23. So very, very close with regards to, to, to those numbers. Um, yep. So the good news is we know that the fitting components are accurate are as well. Accurate. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I'm you know, obviously swinging pretty robotic, but we know that the fitting components have got the right loft on them right. there too, which is, which is great. Uh, but yeah, it's... It's, it's speed foam, it's, uh, it's kind of keeping it up a little bit. Uh, it's, these, these irons kind of could fit a different player because as I mentioned, T100S, it's significantly smaller. So mm -hmm. it's going to appeal for those, to those players that do like a smaller club head. Yeah, maybe it's the player that, you know, maybe 
in the past has been a really, really good ball striker, um, but just maybe now is losing a little bit of that distance, wants to keep up, but doesn't want to lose that feel, that workability. 200S seems like right up that player's alley. Um, among, I mean, lots of other players, but that's just the one that comes to mind. Yep. P770 is a little more distance oriented, a little more forgiveness in there, I think, too, compared to T100S. Because um, it's, it's striking how similar these numbers are, but I think you look at the design of the club, uh, and the shape and everything that you had talked about. And I think you can see the differences there that there might be targeted towards a little bit of a different type of player, maybe a little bit more in general, higher handicaps for the P770. Right, yeah, I, I, I would say that too. I would agree, I'd say P770 is just sneaks slightly towards the higher handicap golfer. T100S is lower yeah. handicap golfer. We're that, still talking single digits probably. Right, we for, are, yeah. You know, we, for, we, for, for you know everybody out there, but it's still worth noting, I think. Now again, general trends it's all player dependent <laughs> right, you know it yeah. depends on how well you hit your irons so yeah i hate classifying by handicap but yeah it's 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 general trends yes i think t100s is for the golfer that likes to play say a t100 or a cavity back or even like a blade but they need less spin they spin mm -hmm. the ball too much yeah so that's what the, where i'd say this one kind of fits in and they like the look of the smaller profile need a little more distance and a little less spin p770 is it's for the golfer that, you, that likes slightly larger profile, mm -hmm. wants a little bit more confidence at setup, but still wants to feel like a player out, out, yeah. of, the, out of the course. And that technology just helps them just a little bit more. Yeah, I think you know one of the clubs that's not coming to my mind as we um, describe these is the Shrixon ZX7. Because I know we've in the past in Shrixon iron testing, their irons are lofted a little bit stronger. And then we've always kind of noted that they're spin killers a little bit when we yep. compare them to others in the category. It seems like T100S and ZX7, maybe that's an idea for a future comparison that we do where those two irons I think would compare very similarly. I believe they're the same loft or very 32. close. Yep. 32 yep. degrees, gonna knock down that spin. So another, again, another option there too. T100S obviously was, uh, kind of fits in that category. So this was, uh, you know, I, again, these numbers up on the board here are, are so similar, uh, despite the fact that they have a different loft. Right, uh, it's, it's hard to really draw a conclusion and see which one I hit best, because you can see the efficiency was great, dispersion w w was great. Um, I mean, if you were to take one outlier out, that, that yellow circle might be just a touch smaller. Yeah, you have one kind of way over yeah, here. Yeah, got that one over there. And then otherwise, yeah, I can see how that And I've got that know. one that's just a touch shorter here with the, with the, with the white circle. Just but for the sake of that, I'm gonna, just because we mentioned it, I'm gonna take that out. You can see that, how that kind of drops that down. And then take that, that white circle, just so I keep it seven versus seven, Which maybe. Which one, this one? This, either the left one, or, or maybe there's a short one. That one, one here, here. yep. Yeah. Swing one. Now, so now yeah. we got this, we got, you know. So there's your, new, I mean, it's still, they're right on top of each other. It's just a more of a left to right versus north to south dispersion right. difference, but overall it's, very comparable numbers for you. And I would imagine a lot of golfers will find them pretty similar. It's just a matter of, do you want a more of an emphasis on forgiveness and distance? Or do you want that emphasis on feel and workability? That's where, you know, you'll have to make your decision between these two, I think. Right, I think they're, yeah, they're both competitive against each other in, in, the, in the fitting bay. So it's, it's important to test them and figure out which head the player likes better. Mm -hmm. but. I think this is a, a great comparison. I do appreciate our viewers for commenting mm -hmm. and requesting this video because we've had several people say, hey, this would be a great comparison after we did say T200 versus P790. Yeah. This mm -hmm. was, the, was the next most popular one that people wanted to see. So I think this is a, this is a good video. Yeah, and as I know, that's another good reminder. We are looking at the comments all the time. If you guys have video suggestions for us, please leave them below and uh, you know, we'll do our best to get them into our uh, video filming schedule here. But um, this was a great one and we couldn't pass this one up. Uh, so Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots, providing the feedback. Golfers, as you know, uh, Second Swing is a place to come to get fit for either one of these irons or maybe see which one is best for your game. Uh, so we can schedule that fitting online or talk to one of our online fitting and support team members on the phone. We'll get you set up for whichever of these models fits you best. So Thomas, once again, thank you. Golfers, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, channel if you haven't. And we look forward to reading those comments from you.